Sisters, today I just want to highlight the definition of Muslim and who is a Muslim and who is not a Muslim. It's a huge topic, but I just want to make a, just to highlight it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in many, many verses the conditions, the descriptions, and the definition of Muslim. So before I go into details to that, let me differentiate between two. Many people always mix it up with Islam with Muslims. In a short form, Islam is called the religion. Our religion is called Islam. It's not only the one that is, we have Islam, but from the very beginning until now, Allah, the Almighty, who created all human beings, those who were the past and the present and the future, everyone who created, he never changed his mind. So religion was always Islam. But it is the people who change. And the way they change is that, first of all, they have the scripts, the words, passages, ayahs, everything is written there. Then they give it different meaning. They change the meaning of the words. Where usually what happens is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala condemns those who were before us and saying you have before al kalima and mawatiq. They change the word from its position. So when they change the meaning of the word and what they do all again they make uh, the ibadah, but uh, the ibadah which is just a formality. It's only a formality, it's a physical activity, but it doesn't have the essence which it should be having. So they take the essence of the, of the worship and they use ayahs of the Quran out of context and they change the meaning of the Qur'an and they put it differently. That's what used to happen from the very beginning until now. Muslims, now they, they went, they're doing the same thing which was done before by other nations who came before us. <coughs> and that shows us the hadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said, so, uh, Prophet Muhammad is saying to us, for sure, you will be following the footsteps of those who were before you, step by step, and inch by inch. So, this is what we do, we are doing it nowadays in that situation. Where we have the Islam, we have become only a titular, only by name, and we change the meaning by not applying it. Because when you stop applying Islam, then you will start changing its meanings. Even though you have the word there, still you have you you apply it in a different way. So Islam is that religion which existed from the very beginning to the last. Of only one religion Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, that is Islam. That it doesn't mean it's only this one with the book sent to with the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But even those who were before, they were Islam. So as they were changing the words one after another, they later on changed even the name of the religion. That's how you have um, different religions which have, or if they were named after their prophets, they were named after some other things, but now the, some of them just say it is the script, the scripture, that at least is better. And so in that, now, we know the meaning of Islam is that. The person is not Islam. What is Islam is the religion, the book we have, that's the Quran. The books were always different. Allah sent many messengers, but each one with a book. So there were the Torah, 
the gospel, the, uh, there were so many books. And our book is called Furqan, Al-Quran, Al-Kitab. The Quran that we have. But the generally, they were all Islam because they were all uh, carrying one message. That message was that you connect yourself to the one who created you and you have good relationship with uh, the creatures. You have good and close relationship and positive relationship with all the mankind, animal, plants, and everything. So you do everything nicely and appropriately, and at the same time you connect yourself to Allah, the Almighty. That is the Muslim. So Muslim, the meaning Muslim is the person. Person is called Muslim. And Muslim means the one who submitted himself or herself to Allah in a peaceful manner. So the word salam, salam came from two roots. One is peace, salam, and salam. The other root is self-submission. So you submitted yourself to Allah, but also in a peaceful manner. So Islam is peace. Muslim is a person who submitted himself to Allah in a peaceful manner and who always performs uh, does everything in a peaceful way. So the whole point of Muslim is to be a peace one. That one, Muslims are always in categories. They are not always uh, all the time in the same class, different classes. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ثم أورثنا الكتاب الذين اصطفينا من عبادنا فمنهم ظالم لنفسه ومنهم مقتسد ومنهم سابق بالخيرات ذلك هو الفوز القديم الله سبحانه وتعالى يسين and we have given the book as an inheritance to those we have chosen the ones we have chosen are the Muslim men, the believers. So we have given them the book, Allah is saying. And after we have given them the book, among them there are some who wronged themselves. They wronged their souls. They, all, they committed crimes and sins against their own souls, against, against themselves. The individual is arming himself. That is one part of the one group of the mu'minin, the believers. Another group, Allah says, وَمِنْهُمْ مُقْتَسِدُمْ And among them, there are some who took in the middle course, those who are in between. Sometimes they wrong themselves, sometimes they, they are good, so they are in a, a, like up and down. Those are in the middle course. Then, Allah says, وَمِنْهُمْ سَابِقُمْ بِالْخَيْرَاتِ and among them are those who are foremost in doing good deeds. They, they go foremost in doing good deeds. They are like a good force of and that's the highest grace that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them. Then here we have believers in these three classes. Then from there we have to find this is the definition of the believers. They are in these three levels, always. As a human being, you know, they are always divided into three. And whenever they get news, something which is new to them, they divide into three groups. One group who rejects, one group who accepts, and the other group who are monophagic, hypocrites. They say they are fearfully we accept it, but in terhat and deep heart, they didn't accept it. And then, so uh, we now divide those who willingly accepted Islam. Those who rejected, we, we have them for a different case, no problem. They even, if they know it really, that means, and they are hiding the truth, and they really know, but they don't want to express out of enmity, out of jealousy, out of whatever, or out of other interests. 
those are too far, we put them aside. Those who never received the message, they are Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, recall them according to their knowledge, according to what they know, and according to their deeds, good or bad. So then those are another category also. The category which is munafiqin, the Hippocrates, also are divided into two. One group who are with the Muslims, they stay with the Muslims always, and they show good faith, and pretending they are in good faith, and righteous people, but uh, intentionally they are not. They have something else behind. So they have, and uh, they are dual mind. Dual minded people are there. But then there is also another group who are really the enemy of Muslims. But they claim that they are Muslims. And they uh, use the name of Islam in destroying things. And those are the ones we have today. But today, the, high, the worst crisis we are in are those who use our title, Islam, Muslim, and they kill innocent people in the name of Islam. Their fighting is not only that they are against Muslim people, but they are also against Islam. So they want to show to malice the Islam. To, they want to defame the Islam and show bad image about Islam. And at the same time, they are enemies of the Muslims. And as you all know, all those crazy and cruel groups who emerged in our days in all the Muslim countries, uh, most of the Muslim countries, you name them uh, ISIS, you name them Boko Haram, Al Shabaab, whatever you call them, uh, they are what they, their target is to kill Muslims, innocent Muslims, a child, women, elder. They don't care, just to kill indiscriminately, to ransack their property, to destroy their histories. Their main target is to, they want to eradicate Islam, the religion of Islam. So what they do, they eradicate all the history of Islam. Be it something which is uh, uh, written somewhere, something to understand, to know, to trace the history because of this, they just want to eradicate. So that is the enemy we are facing today. And this is the worst enemy we have in the history because they are using our name in order to create enemy for us. And what is our responsibility? Our responsibility is to talk. We have to speak out and reject them and fight against them in, uh, according to our level, like what we can, just to spread the true Islam. To say those are not the real, uh, they are not Muslims at all. They are anti-Islam, anti-Muslims. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulullah Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. My dear brothers and sisters, as we see, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has this given us the definition of Muslim in a precise and concise way. He said, Al-Muslimu man salam al-Muslimu wa lamin yadhi wa lisanihi. The Muslim person is the one who a Muslim is safe from his time and from his hand. So the one who is killing the Muslims, is, it's very clear he is not Muslim, but he is anti-Muslim. The one who is killing even non-Muslims is, is the same thing because in our Islam, Islam is against killing for no reason. Killing and, and, and torturing and kidnapping and all those things are haram in our Islam. So our Islam is peace. It's all about peace. It is that religion which tells you if you are insulted, 
you forgive. If you are hurt, you, for, you should forgive. If your property is taken, you forgive. It's a long, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you see even in the Christianity, in the Bible, it says if somebody slaps your right cheek, give him the, uh, the left cheek to slap it. Islam is typically like that. Allah didn't change his mind. When he revealed the gospel and he revealed them the Quran, it's all the same. The difference is only maybe the name of the book and the name of the messenger. So the, Allah has all, all that program. Anyone who goes and uh, who then kills somebody, that means he's fighting against Allah because he, he, it means that, God, why did you create this person? I hate him. So he is attacking Allah, the Almighty who created the universe. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us in the Quran very clear. Uh, uh, first, let me say another hadith. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Sababul Muslim fisqul wa kitabul kufr. If you insult a Muslim person, that is called fisq. You are fasting, transgressor. And if you kill, you are kafir. So if you kill a Muslim person, you are kafir. If you kill any any human being, that it, it is also you are it is kafir because you are again going against the Quran. Then we have that clarity. It's very clear. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Man qatala mu'minan muta'amidan fa jaza'ahu jahannam khalidan fiha. Anyone who kills a believer intentionally, he will do it in the hellfire forever. So that person who will go to hellfire forever, for, it means for and indefinitely, that person cannot be a Muslim. It's very clear that such kind of people are not Muslim. Then, my point is that Muslims are in different levels and they have always uh, something to uh, dispute, it's controversy, it's like that. That's normal, human nature. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Wala yuzaluna yakhtalifuna. They would always disagree about certain things. So within yourself, you always disagree within yourself something. Means you did something, your one prime, one part of your mind maybe will tell you one thing and the other part is telling you something. And you have dispute within yourself. And so brothers, twins, they have that dispute. What do you expect from a na nations, nations and nations? They will always have misunderstandings, disputes, conflicts. But that will not uh, take out that the, they are all Muslims, believers. So you use that general uh, description, which is all believers are one, regardless of their levels of worshiping, regardless of their groupies, and so on, so on. But those who are not Muslim are those who are anti-Muslim, those who terrorize human being, those who kill and kidnap and uh, for ransom or something like that and just create problem in this world. And Allah has mentioned hundreds of verses in the Quran, do not create corruption in this earth. Because we were brought in this earth just to use the bounties in it as long as we are alive and worship Allah. That's it. But not to destroy what is in the earth and not to kill each other. That is, you, that person is directly anti-Allah, anti-God. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to understand that Muslims are all one and brothers, regardless of their internal differences. And those who go against Muslims and even non-Muslims while using even the name of Islam, they are the number one enemy of Islam, number one enemy of Muslims. So we have to understand that. 
and we knew the best, the best way to fight against them is to spread the true Islam, to tell the true Islam. Otherwise, what could happen is that those guys, they are taking some uh, fabricated and false hadiths and some uh, verses they take out of context and mistranslate. And then they uh, abuse the Quran and the Sunnah. And what happens is, if we don't speak out and mention that they are wrong, what could happen in the future is that when we all go out and another generation, another generation come, maybe we will find one generation which is saying those are the real Muslims and saying, Rahimallah, may Allah mercy them, some who were uh, praising and praying for them. But now we have to tell the truth and stand up and speak up. <coughs> that is my message today. إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان ويتاع ذو القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون